In this video, I want to discuss the abdominopelvic regions. I'll use uh, abbreviations to help keep them clear, uh, but in the lecture you will need to know their names, but I'll say them out so that we can see them. Uh, and I begin really in the middle to give you guys something to really kind of base everything off of. So I'm going to draw a U in the middle for the umbilical region. And the umbilical region would be there where the umbilical cord would be. Now, sitting above that, you would find the stomach sitting just about here. So above that would be the epigastric. So we're going to write epi G. Now, epi upon the stomach, upon the umbilical area, the epigastric. Now, sitting on either side of this, and we're going to use uh, orange to depict this, we have uh, on this side a left hyperchondriac and a right hyperchondriac. Now, on either side of the umbilical region, we have lumbar, and there is a left and right lumbar region. Underneath the umbilical, and I'm going to use red here, we have the hypogastric. And down in the corners, and I want to use black, we have inguinal or inguinal. Now there's a left and right inguinal region. So this would be down at the groin. The lumbars would be at the side, and the hypogastrics, uh, the hypochondriac regions would be up the top there, just under your ribs. And uh, this is uh, terms they will use to determine um, human body positions and plane of diet and uh, uh, descript description of the locations of organs in the abdominal cavity and the abdominopelvic regions. But this concludes my little video on abdominopelvic regions. Thank you.